My name is Janet Kabu, and today I want to share how God has come through for me in diverse ways that I never thought possible. So I'll start from 29, 2009, when I had finished, I had completed senior high school and I had passed nicely and I had to go to the university. And I didn't know where money was going to come from because by then there were lots of family issues going up. My parents had separated by then and I don't know where money was going to come from to register to get into school. I kept on praying, believing and trusting God to come through for me. Then on the deadline for registration, God miraculously used someone just to come through for me to get the exact amount of money I needed to pay my fees to get into school. So I got into school, one prayer answered, now, the next year was to go through school. How I went through, how I finished, I still sit and think, look back, looking back, I just do not know. But some way, somehow, God made a way through people, through colleagues, through family members, through church members. I'll just have random calls, church members just sending me food, sending me cash just it was just amazing this only taught me that god listens to our tiniest prayers sometimes we don't even say i don't say long prayers or anything but just that simple prayer god please come through for me because sometimes there is no hope but then god comes through and then one prayer that has stuck with me is god you know that I serve you well and you know that you are the only hope that I have so if you allow me to fail then you are to blame God the glory if I succeed the glory comes to you if I fail then the shame comes to you so I don't know I don't think that you are going to allow your name to be put to shame and this has been my prayer and God always comes through so in my final year in school I kept on praying, God, you know the situation at home. I don't want to finish school, come and sit at home and then have nothing doing. So I kept on praying, God, it's either you give me a job right after school, I don't want to struggle for a job, or I need a scholarship to further my, my studies. And without stress, without hassle, God just came through for me through um, a lecturer of mine who saw potential in me at the time, I got a job, got a scholarship. At the same time, it's like the moment one season ends, a new door opens. I got a scholarship to uh, pursue my master's degree. And it was without, how God came through, it, it was mind blowing, fully paid, from the beginning, I didn't even meet all the requirements, but then the university gladly accepted me. They gave me a provisional um, um, acceptance. Then when I got there, they helped me to finalize all my documentations, which is on head of, because if you don't have all the requirements, you are kicked out. So God came through for me on that front as well. Then after going through the master's degree, my God, I need to continue with this um, studies because that is my passion. I had looked everywhere. You know, sometimes, not sometimes, all the times when we pray, God uses people to bless us. We may be looking all around, looking elsewhere, but then help is going to come through people either close to us or far, or sometimes strangers, people we do not know. I remember after my master's degree, I wanted to um, pursue my PhD 
and I had I had done everything applied everywhere that I knew then all doors at that point all doors were closed it looked like God wasn't answering my prayers then it just took one man who just said one sentence just to open a door for me to do my PhD fully funded that was how God it was unbelievable like God I've been struggling for eight good months to secure funding and then this man just appears one day just one sentence and that problem is sorted this all these experiences have taught me that you know God uses men he, he places men in our path to bless us so when God blesses me or as he is blessing me i also need to be a channel to help hold the hands of those who are coming up i may be the answer to someone's prayer so the blessing is not for me to keep or the blessing is not for me to glorify myself and feel that okay i am better off than someone who is down there no it has taught me humility it has taught me how to be helpful to other people because along my journey of life, people, key people have held my hands. They have invested. People who are not blood related, people who do not know me from anywhere, just sow seeds into my life. And I believe that God has taught me a lot through this to be saying to other people. Thank you very much. Thank you.